Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Egyptian god Anubis. I'm going to take three fingers in the center and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left I'm going to draw a curved line down, out, up a little bit. Right where I stopped I draw a straight line down, curved line up, straight line down, curved line down. I come back to the top and right here I'm going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect, and right next to that I'm going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect. I come back to the first one and I'm going to draw a curved line down, and now I come to the second one and I'm going to draw the inside curved line down. Okay? I come right even, jump over, I come right even with the top and I'm going to draw a straight line out, curve line down, curve line over and stop. Leave it floating. I come back to the top right about here and I'm going to draw a curve line down, keep going, keep going and curve line up. Now I come back up to the top and I'm just going to draw right about here a curve line down, curve line up, connect. Now I have this section right here, I can follow through and draw another curve line connect. I come back to the top, right about here, and I'm just going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line on the top. Now I'm going to mimic that line and draw straight line, curve line, straight line on the top. We're going to come above and redraw that same line. Straight line, curve line, straight line. And in the center I draw a curve line on the left and a curve line on the right. I come all the way to the left and I draw a curve line right there. Okay? Now I come down to this section right here. First thing I'm going to do I'm going to draw a curve line down and make it even with this section and right next to that I'm going to draw a curve line out, make it even, straight line, curve line up to that section. If you have room, add one more curve line going up, straight line connect. This section is going to have straight lines going across all the way up, keep going, and this panel is going to have straight lines going up, keep going, all the way up. Now, this section up here, if you can fit, if you have room, just draw me some straight lines going across, and then we're going to draw big curved lines to finish off this section right here. Keep going. Everybody might end up with a different amount, that's okay. Now at this part, at the very bottom bottom, if you had room, we're going to draw a zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Okay, I think that's everything and we are ready to color. Okay, when I looked up Anubis on Google, he's black. Probably because he's supposed to represent the funeral part or the death part of Egyptian gods. So this section was dark, dark black. This section was dark, dark black. And this section was dark, dark black. And I did this section of the zigzag down here black. 
but I didn't want to lose his face so very lightly I did a black all the way around this section very lightly now the other color that was pronounced was gold but I don't have gold I'm sure you don't either so I took my yellow and I outlined his eye and I tried to outline part of his eyebrow this section was gold or yellow these sections were gold or yellow the other part of the zigzag was gold or yellow and this section of his headdress was gold and yellow if you google him up he's kind of scary looking but I guess he would be because of death alright then just as uh, the opposite color that they used was the blue turquoise blue green so this was all done this section was done this section was done and these stripes were done so blue green all the way now what was interesting of what I read was I used to think that this was the head of a jackal you know a wild dog in Egypt but come to find out they did DNA and it turns out to be a wolf interesting okay let's see what this looks like all colored in here's Anubis all colored in very interesting Egyptian God the rest of his body is human okay bye bye